writer checks what his thoughts were on this game and uh, he said that both players uh, really couldn't convince fans and viewers that they were top players on their teams in Korea. But with Watch's champion pool seeming to be actually kind of limited, Arrow's weaknesses uh, were always in his uh, in his lane phase. So uh, this is kind of all about the lane phase. We'll see if that is a limitation of Arrow. You can see Arrow actually locking in Anivia versus Watch's Nasus. Uh, help me out here, Egad. It seems to me like champions like I don't know Caitlyn still available. Uh, Lucian was banned though, so a lot of AD carries being banned versus Arrow. I don't think that's a big mystery, but these bans versus Watch, uh, I don't know, man. Um, so, let's see. York, Evelyn, and Heimerdinger. I'm thinking, like, how Nasus could beat Anivia. I mean, pre-6, just running up and siphoning striking, the passive life steals are still pretty nice. Wither in this matchup is... Meh, Almost since okay. Anivia is slow enough. <laughs> yeah, Anivia, one of the slowest base movement speeds in the game, so you definitely have to watch out for that. And and so, and I think, I'm not really thinking there's any way that Nasus will beat an Anivia in a CS game. Like, uh, Anivia's ability to CS is probably... Well, pre-6, uh, Nasus can keep up, but after 6, it's yeah, just after like, six, eh. Yeah, after 6, it's going to be ridiculous, so... See the champion cards here, of course, Arrow, AD carry for KT Rolster as, uh, as, as his primary champions, uh, Corky Tristana, of course that is, pre-reworked Tristana, and uh, of course Sivir, which may make a showing here in this series. For, uh, for Watch, Jungler for Najin, EM Fire, you see uh, Jarvan Leeson and Rek'Sai, none of which he'll probably be playing unless he wants to go for, uh, I guess, some crazy all-in stats, so... We'll, uh, we'll see how this works out. I mean, as far as the matchup is concerned, I, I would give maybe a slight edge to uh, to Anivia, but we'll see if Nasus can you know, either farm things up to where his siphoning strikes hit pretty hard and then go for some nice all ends. Let's see. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't think the Nasus ultimate is going to be that good. If he tries, if he doesn't go ghost, how does he run down the Anivia? <sighs> we'll just have to wait and see until like the game actually begins, which is now. into it so this will be the first game of the second side of the bracket for group b this is arrow taking on watch i mean you guys joining me here is rapid and let's see how this game goes this is not something we thought we'd see anivia versus nasus now the only thing that i could think to myself is uh i, I think they got the wrong items here AP Nasus yeah. is actually okay, so he's gonna look to match Max. Uh, oh, jeez, E, it's uh. Yeah. Okay, so AP Nasus maybe like if if you know I go out partying the night before and I come back and you're convincing me AP Nasus, you know maybe I'll maybe I'll believe that. But the AD at Nivia. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's the same sound I'm making. Yeah, <laughs> what do you know? Last hits, man. Her last hits. Her her. her, her her auto, her auto attack damage animation is, the is highest. terrible. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever, you can manage. Last hitting with Anivia, uh, that was one of the big things that people would always like congratulate Froggen on, is that his ability to last hit with Anivia's auto attacks was just something that was so incredibly skilled. But, oh, face checking here into the AP Dash. Look at that soul fire damage. Good night. That is, uh, that is fairly impressive. Uh, did not expect to see that out of an AP Nasus, but... I mean, I, I think he's... I, don't, I, I wish we could have seen the runes. Unfortunately, we couldn't. But there's no there's no AP on the Cynivia. There, there, is, there is none. Zero. 39 on the Nasus, though. Uh, Jesus. I don't know how the Cynivia is going to battle it. Like, uh, the sustain is just way too much from the Nasus. You can AoE clear very well early on with Soulfire. And... Mm, the right clicks hurt quite a bit. Hmm. Well, and to be fair, the uh, the life steal out of he has the tax speed. passive. Wait, does he? Does he? Yeah, this it is looks much like faster. It. He forced up the heal already. He's got flash. He can chase this down. This might be a dead. Oh nasty. my god! I think I, is watch this dead. Now they can run around as much as they want as long as they don't kill any creeps. 
So for the time being, Arrow's just pointed for the flash here. Forward. He's flashing, he's looking for the stun there, he does get a he's slow. Dead. Last <laughs> auto attack's gonna come out, the AD Anivia from Arrow. Are you, able to take out Watch's AP Nasus. I think he should have hidden that mid brush and just turn yeah. around and right click as much as possible. Try for the auto attack. Yeah, yeah. at least he would have gotten the life steal off. Oh, what the hell? He's only got 25 armor too. That's a really low armor. 25 total. armor. He must have just gone all in, like completely flat ability power. Oh my god. Well, all right, there you, there you have it. I guess Arrow gets the first game with the AD and Ivia. Feels like calling Arrow a solo king off of his AD and Ivia play. Maybe somewhat of a hasty generalization, but that's how you do it, man. AD and Nivia. Making up a win here for Arrow versus Watch's AP Nasus. Hmm. Next game, ban Nivia? Uh, uh, I don't know, actually. What's gonna happen there? Well, at least for the time being, we're gonna have to, you know, go back into game number two and get a little bit of a reset. Maybe, uh, I'll watch to compose himself. The AP Das is not something that I necessarily would have expected, uh, for very good reason. I think, uh, I think we just got a chance to see exactly what that reason was. So hopefully this time around we get a chance to look at champion picks and bans and check out the runes and masteries. Uh, I think runes and masteries would have, uh, would have been an interesting experience to go through in game one, trying to figure out why on earth these guys were running so much ability power. Yeah, I just... Mm, I, I, I'm still kind of left a little, little speechless there because of how that went, but... Alright, I mean, next picks, uh, maybe we'll see something or unorthodox again. That's what I can only assume. Well, at least for right now, uh, I'm expecting that at least one of these games will be at least marginally, you know, like, I don't want to say meta, but we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of players have a little bit of fun with their matches. Uh, earlier on, uh, I think we actually got a chance to see uh, Lee Sin versus Lee Sin in the blind pick third game of a best of three, so uh, it'll be, uh, you know, crazier things have happened. We've also seen, like, uh, I think it was, what was it, uh, was it Alistar versus... Uh, we've seen some crazy matchups here in the Solo King, so it's not necessarily just about being a Solo King. You gotta have some fun along with it. Yeah, I guess. You just gotta really find some time to have a casual game of, of League of Legends. So, as it, as we get into this, we see the Lucian panned away. No, no surprise there. Someone such as uh, Pilot really, really good at that champion. Yeah, an arrow no exception. He's an 80 carry player and he is playing, uh, he is here on KT Rolster. And while KT Rolster have not had that great a season in champions in the 5v5 play, their 1v1, of course, working out so far. Uh, KT uh, by far having the most victories in the Solo King so far. Uh, once again, very similar picks and ban phase as we saw in game number one. Keep in mind, they might just be going for the rematch. I mean, maybe maybe Watch is convinced in the AP NASA's power, and he just wants to go right back to it. I mean, AP, jeez, AP NASA, that was, that was such a blunder. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Caitlyn, Yorick, Ezreal, and what's the last ban here for Arrow? Uh, Nivia, maybe, maybe Watch is gonna steal Arrow's AD and Nivia. <laughs> <laughs> you take the Anivia pick away. Uh, I don't know. Well, here is Arrow looking for that last ban. Of course, this time the Yorick ban by Watch. And no Evelyn ban here. That was banned in the first series. Uh, probably not a contested pick. Although Watch, you know, as a jungler, has probably played his fair share of Evelyn. Uh, could go for some cool, like, stealth if he wants to, but... But then you just get countered by, like, pick. a pink ward? Like, he just brings a pink ward into lane, and you're like, uh, what do I do? And then it becomes, like, a battle to protect the pink ward, but it does look like Watch is just going to, uh, you know, he is a jungler, so he does uh, have experience playing Nunu. He goes for that, so uh, would be interesting to see. Uh, we've already seen one victory for Nunu, and actually only one game of Nunu, so I'm not surprised to see him, uh, you know, with a, a little bit of a low appearance rate. Uh, I mean, we had 
that one pickle he said. But other than that, like he's he's really 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 strong with those ice blasts they can throw out and the potential you know absolute zero. But he's still melee. He does have some good sustain, but again, getting poked out consistently is just really annoying. So Wash just goes for the misfortune instead. Now, Misfortune, of course, uh, an AD carry you don't traditionally see very much in the current 5v5 meta, uh, but one that does 1v1 actually really, really well. Uh, specifically, if you have Blade, uh, if you have um, uh, Spell Weaving and Blade Weaving, uh, your Make It Rain, even though it's not traditionally a very high damage spell, it will stack up a 3% extra damage uh, from your auto attack. So, uh, you've also got the double up to give yourself an auto attack reset, but. Here is an Anivia for Arrow. Is he oh, going God. back to the AD Anivia? Uh, I don't know. You got 10 seconds left to think about it. AD I Anivia mean, or Draven. I don't think Anivia should ever beat Misfortune. So Even maybe I'll be proved wrong Anivia. again. Uh, I don't know. Arrow is going to lock in the Anivia pick, though. Will it be AD or AP only? Time and checking out his runes and masteries will tell. I'm going with AD. Let's see. I mean, just contesting a misfortune with just straight right clicks is going to be tough. Uh, she has impure shots. She's got double up damage. The uh, Nivik it's done, but you sound it's not way enough. too optimistic about that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, I don't know, we'll figure things out as we get into uh, game number two. Watch already down 1-0, and of course he'll be facing off against uh, Arrows and Nivia for the second time here. I don't uh, I don't have too many words of encouragement for Watch other than maybe... The oh my god, can you imagine if this is AP Misfortune? Uh, I would actually be very surprised. I, I would literally die. It would be both the Solo King on the Rift and the Solo King casting with, with EGAD. So. I mean, I'd only be able to cast until, like, your computer just shut off <laughs> or something. Just goes to sleep my, mode. My computer like, oh. might die, too. The AP Anivia power might just be too much. And of course, watch. Um, I mean, you wouldn't really even be able to buy items like Lich Bane or, like, Nashor's Tooth like you would expect on an AP, you know, AD carry, so... I don't know. You get Astro's Tooth and like uh, Runin's Hurricane. <laughs> I want to see one one v one game in which somebody is allowed to buy a Runin's Hurricane. I, uh, this is this is okay to happen. So what is this page? Skeptical. Okay, so this page says AD. It's got one point five percent. I think that's a life steal quintessence. Hmm, that's weird. This is there, okay. Random plus forty health, I guess, in there. <laughs> You know, splitting uh, AD and health isn't terrible. You, you just pretty much made a Doran's Blade out of that page. Effect. <laughs> it's like build your own Doran's Blade. Whoops, getting out of Master Reason. Now, this page actually makes a little bit more sense. You've got armor seals, you've got attack speed reds, and of course, a little bit of magic regeneration or mana regeneration in your blues, along with some extra AD from your quintessences. And as far as mastery goes, here for Arrow, uh, fairly standard. Nothing. Too surprising across. You're talking the board. about standard. This isn't standard for Anivia. Oh, that's right. He is going with Anivia. See, I, I see Arrow, and I think to myself, AD carry. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, the AD carry is running with an AD rune page. What could possibly? And then you realize it's AD Anivia. So. Hmm. Interesting times. I don't know. <laughs> well, interesting times call for interesting measures, Egad. I don't think it gets much more interesting than this. Interesting, a great word to use for situations like these. It's very non-committal, non-judgmental. And of course, you can't really say too many bad things about Arrows AD and Ivia may be off meta, but it was good enough to pick him up game <laughs> Game 1 versus Watch's AP Nasus. That still was a bit of a blunder by the Nasus by Watch. Like... I don't know. He didn't even try to just soul fire spam. He just like ran up to him. He was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, maybe he's learned his lesson. Uh, watch. Kind of missing, like you said, uh, the opportunity for maybe one, maybe two extra uh, auto attacks in his previous game. It was just cost it, uh, cost it to him. We'll uh, have to keep an eye out here as we load into game number two. Our best of three series. Uh, this is our final best of three uh, our, our final um, 
half of the group of the night. So we've got this best of three, and then one best of three immediately following this uh, between Lol Bunny and Trace. And of course, the deciding best of three to determine which player will advance from this group A2. So excited to see which uh, which player advances. I would give the advantage to Arrow, just given the uh, devastating power of his AD and Ivia so far. But of course, uh, you know, watch on Najin, no stranger to uh, you know evening the score in these best of three series uh, by far. Yeah. All right. Well, they should be looking to go into the map very soon. I want to be good to go for this match. So we just got to wait for them to kind of give us the hand signal cue. <laughs> Usually it's a hand signal. It was, a, it was a hand signal yesterday. Uh, it's a hand signal today. It's just he's kind of a little bit more subtle about it. That's true. The, the unseen hand signals are the deadliest. And there it is. Boom. Like, Boom. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, we're back for game number two between Watch and Arrow. Arrow leading currently 1-0 using AD and Nivea. They'll be doing the same thing this time around. Flask picked up for Watch, though, with some potions, looking for some high sustain. Arrow looking for the long sword of potions. Um, Ege, joining me here is Rafa, and uh, we're in for a doozy. And also, apparently, some laughing there from uh, from Miss Fortune. You know, you don't get to hear Miss Fortune's laugh all that often. Uh, mostly just because you don't get to see Misfortune all that often. A travesty, a shame, and one that is rectified here by Watch. Uh, he decided that he had to go with a champion pretty enough for him to play, so Misfortune's in there. And uh, for Arrow, I don't know, the longsword start too. Uh, you know, maybe if you're a Zed, sure. If you're Talon, maybe. If you're an AD caster assassin, maybe you go longsword. Maybe Riven goes longsword long uh, health potions. <laughs> But not Anivia, of course, for Arrow. Only the best will do his teleport ignite Anivia now. No flash. TP ignite. Summoner spell choices here. So if you're looking to play AD Anivia like Arrow, it's your way to go. I guess. I don't think there'd ever be a situation where you really want to do that, but in one versus one, apparently so. So, uh, hmm. I don't ever think it. A dual lane eighty Anivia could that work? That could probably work. Uh, yeah, I've seen put it like, like a thresh or something. Anivia before. Yeah, support uh, Anivia is fine, but uh, like, what would you pair with an Anivia to be like a good eighty carry to carry? <laughs> mm, I think you would pair turning off your computer and not playing it because okay, okay. for uh, for eighty Anivia so far, uh, we're just gonna keep an eye on the CS. See who's uh, gonna pull ahead in there. Arrow's gonna miss one already. Two to two in CS, so one miss a piece for both sides. Arrow continuing to look for opportunities to harass, but look at that double up. It's gonna start coming in, and it is AD misfortune, so I feel a little bit more reassured about that. I mean, the AD misfortune should fare much, much better. Uh, I don't think Arrow really can do all that much. In terms of like, we're also staying too. Uh, Watch did go for the better route in the flask, so uh, he's he's really going to be able to soak up these autos as well as with strut he can dodge away from any kind of you know stun or gap closing that arrow would look for. Without starting with either a Dorian's blade or a, a longsword, you can see uh, Watch's misfortune uh, starting with uh, I believe 66. AD at level 2, so that is, uh, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to deal with, although these, uh, gotta say, not, uh, not dodging away from double ups. Really costing Arrow a little bit of HP. He does have health potions in his inventory. Two still left. Hmm. Um, I, I don't think he's gonna even need to use those. Arrow's not getting much harassing. Uh, when he does try to, you know, just watch responding well by getting his own amount of clicks back. So, it's going to be pretty even for now, but this is a pretty big wave that built up, and Arrow can pretty easily catch up to seeing as to how his uh, his auto attacks hit for quite a lot. So, shouldn't be missing too much here. Yeah, I mean, Arrow's auto attacks do hit for enough to last it, I guess, decently under turret. Uh, the struggle comes when it, uh, you know, 
involves arrows, spells actually dealing damage. And I guess there, there's always that, uh, you know, glorified base ratio, but just look at how much damage Watch is able to trade right back at you. Also, if you put a Nivea into egg, does that count as a kill? No, right? Nope. Nope, no, okay. you actually have to kill the egg itself. So if uh, Arrow is able to, uh, you know, get back underneath his turret, then that's going to uh, it's gonna save his life. But he does not have flash, so won't be able to like, you know, die and then flash underneath his turret so that his egg is safe from harm. Hmm. Okay, so see, we could be some mind games there as well. I'm trying to bait, uh, watch back into a, a, a lull of a false sense of security when he does end up. You know, thinking he killed Arrow, he's like, oh yeah, I won the match now, but it's like, oh, he's in the egg. Wait a minute, no, I didn't. All right, so as far as skill distribution is concerned, uh, no points in Crystallize there for Arrow. Just gonna split things up. We Flash Frost and Ice Blast. But for uh, for Watch, you actually put one point into Impure Shots, and then of course maxing Double Up is your second item or your second uh, ability. Probably no surprise there. You're just going to see it continuing to get off some really good harass behind turret. I think what Arrow is actually going to do is let himself die under turret and then revive in his egg passive to get that extra sustain in lane. I... Even then, yeah, I guess. I guess doing that is okay in that scenario since so you save your TP, but again, you come back into the lane with no mana and... Wait, so mm. he lost his passive and he's going back to base. Now this is know. AD and Nivea, so you don't really need that much mana in the first place. Arrow goes back to base, buys double long swords or double Doran's blades and a long sword. I don't know how I feel about that. That was weird. That just looks weird in general to just do that. But I guess he wants the Doran's blade. He wants the priority on you know being able to out trade Watch. But Watch is going back to base himself. He'll pick up his own double Doran's or triple Doran's. Whoa. So, he'll be much better off. Alright, well, it's uh, it's going to be exciting to see a triple Dorans come back in the lane. Uh, the Crystalline Flash, too. We've seen over and over again exactly how effective that is uh, at, uh, you know, the lane sustain. Specifically, if you have high-value spells that you can cast. Like, uh, you know, for Arrow, he probably doesn't have too many spells that he, like, is actually actively looking to use. Uh, I mean, sure, you land a stun, and that's, you know, three trades afterwards, and... Even without any ability power, it's, the spells are actually going to do a decent amount of damage, just thanks to the spell crit on that Flash Frost. Yep. Uh, so, with this ultimate, too, now, from the Anivia, pushing into her is going to be so hard. Or pushing into Arrow. I don't mean to call it her, but I'm just referencing the fact that it's Anivia. But, you know, he's able to just throw out that storm. He's able to... Not really maintain it though, which is the big thing. His mana pool is going to be suffering a lot. Double ups continuing to uh, you know be thrown out there, but they're not, not actually landing as quite as much as they used to. Although, you know, right as they say, oh, stun going to come in. There. There's a lot of damage traded right back in there. One shot of those impure shots going back on towards Arrow, but Arrow definitely uh, feeling the struggle now. Keep in mind, no Anivia passive up for another five minutes. That is. Maybe be a very high value passive down. Hmm. And he could just play around that, honestly. Just play a little bit more defensively, but when he does end up giving that space over to Watch, uh, Watch is really just going to take leaps and bounds ahead. Already he's he's got a bit of an advantage in terms of the creeps, but that's because the lane hasn't pushed up yet. And with this wave, it's four, so he's, he's currently got two total creeps ahead of Arrow if Arrow doesn't miss anything here. Which isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, Arrow's last hitting is actually doing okay, you know, as, as far as, you know, the, the last hitting versus last hitting matchup. Uh, will that actually be something that we see as a win condition here? I mean, I mean we do have two, you know, quote-unquote AD carries. But last time Arrow did win by, uh, you know, chasing Watch down, so we'll just have to see if that is uh, something he wants to go for here. Uh, one turret shot taken there by Watch, but triple Doran's blades and enough sustain. I don't think that'll actually matter. Nope. He could take, like, four to five turret shots and be okay. So, that's also another big thing is uh, Misfortune does get a lot of health. So, she is... She's also just naturally tanky and not in terms of 80 carry tanky not in terms of like top lane tanky so you know we got watch he's just gonna beat into this tier one turret and there's 
nothing Arrow can do about it right now. His TP's still down for a decent amount of time. If he goes back to base, he's gonna lose his turret with this next wave since it's a siege wave. Yeah, Arrow's in a lot of problems. He can try to spam out that Flash Frost, but it's just not going to be enough to uh, to keep him in this lane. He is going to have to go back. He is out of sustain, and while he will get some life steal and help back from those Doran's Blade life steal, uh, that is not uh, not going to be very consequential at this point in the game. Flash and heal both available, and Summoner spells here from Watch. And I think he's just gonna yeah. go for the. D uh... Okay, well, I guess he wins the anticlimactic victory award. <laughs> He's walking under turret and double upping, doubling up rather your uh, opponent. Uh, I don't know. They uh, definitely gonna make it double or nothing. So we'll see which player is actually able to advance now that Watch has evened up the score versus Zero. And we go to blind pick now too. So what is Watch gonna go for next? I mean, the misfortune worked out pretty well. That's because he went up a Nivia, and the Nivia was AD. Had the Nivia been AP, and maybe differentiated the build just a little bit. The Doran's Rings would possibly tier. Mm, would have been eh. But other than that, you know, the AD Navia only works once. <laughs> That's only against melee matchups. Yeah, as far as the versus melee matchup is concerned, that's always something you have to worry about, you know, running into a, a range. Uh, specifically one like, uh, like Anivia, where you've got a lot of, uh, you, know, a little, you know, a fair amount of crowd control, even without a lot of ability power. So, something to keep an eye on. Um, definitely expecting to see range versus range, and specifically uh, 80 carry versus 80 carry uh, matchup here. We already know that, you know, at least... Um, uh, at least Arrow is very confident with his AD carries. Uh, Watch has yet to show quite as much confidence of his own, but he needs to take down game number two, so at least he'll be, you know, he'll, he'll stay in it, of course, still wanting to advance to that grand final to uh, maybe take some revenge uh, for his uh, first former teammate. Take revenge indeed. So let's see if we can get into the uh, blind pick as soon as possible. I, I, I'm thinking thinking Caitlyn and Lucian, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe Watch will just do or die by the uh, AD and Nivea. I think if he just sticks to AD and Nivea, it'd be fun, but at the same time, you know, you, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose. Yeah, going three out of three games in the solo king with AD and Nivea is a pretty bold statement to make. It's like, I'm not only the solo king, I am the Solo AD Anivia King. I don't know too many people who already have that uh, that claim to fame. Maybe that is a claim to fame that Arrow is looking for. As far as Watch is concerned, I don't know if you just pick a jungler that you're good with and then you know try to make that work. But you can't kill jungle creeps, so for the, for the most part, it'll be interesting to see uh, how how this possibly AD. Anivia works out, but uh, we're going to be getting into game number three, of course, here in just a second. Game three is our blind pick, which means you can't go with any champion you want. Mm. So, what what do you what do you think he's going to go for here? I mean, we've kind of seen Caitlyn be the uh, the nonstop factor in uh, in in one v one matchups. Uh, Lucian as well, also a possibility. Already got done seeing one best of. Three decided by Illusion 1v1, and uh, even with Illusion 1v1, it's still going to be a, uh, a a fairly interesting game number three to decide which player will advance. He just locked in Draven. All right, let's go Arrow. All right, man, Draven's pretty uh, pretty heavy there. It's a, a champion that doesn't really isn't really forgiving. Uh, deals. Primarily physical damage, by primarily I mean good sweet lord. His physical damage is ridiculous, but will this be a Lee Sin for Watch? Of course, he's a, he's a master with the champion. He's played it, you know, countless times in uh, Nasus? Champions, uh. but once again, the Nasus. Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know, Kev. This is probably not AP Draven, so I don't know if they're just, you know, continuing to switch things up or 
what's going on, but it does look like there is uh, there's gonna be a Nasus. Will this be the ability power based Nasus that we've already seen Probably? watch play once? Uh, I want to see. I want to see those uh, those runes, runes and masteries. Should be standard Draven, way. honestly. But uh, the Nasus, yeah, it's up in the air still. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Interesting. So here's the runes for the Draven arrow. It's got attack speed. It's got standard damage and such. Masters as well as 21.9, so nothing too out of the ordinary there. Hmm. Yeah, nothing, nothing like super crazy on all fronts, but if you want to check out the, the Ruins and Masteries, they actually make a lot of sense there. You can see flat ability power. Wait, that is flat ability power, right? Yes, 26. Yeah, and then magic resistance in the reds, and of course, your armor for glyphs. Hmm. Okay, so AP Nasus again. No armor, uh, nothing crazy. <laughs> just, just raw AP, I, I guess. Whatever works for him, man. <laughs> well, for the time being, we're waiting to load into our last game of this best of three series. It is going to be Watch versus Arrow. KT Rollsters, uh, of course, a, a team that has had a lot of success here in hashtag the Solo King. If you guys would like to join the conversation about the Solo King or share your thoughts on today's matches, head on over to Twitter and use the hashtag the Solo King. Let's just let us know what you thought about uh, the AP NASA's picks, about any of the games tonight. We'd love to hear what you have to say, and of course tweet at Azubu TV. Of course, you can also tweet us, us here uh, on the caster desk, uh, gesturing emphatically at Rapid Casting and at EGAD Casts. We'd love to hear more about what you thought about the show. And of course, I'd love to see more of just these two guys like battling it out in like a best of 17. I watched that, but mostly just because they have, uh, you know, they, they have very aggressive play styles and of course, very, uh, very unique champion picks. Yeah, I gotta say I like the the variation. You know, it seems seems good. It seems seems like they're having some fun again. <laughs> gotta gotta let the players have fun. That's that's all it's about. And uh, we're just waiting to really get onto the rift once uh, we get the hand motion. All right, well, uh, there's one hand motion. I don't think that was actually the real one. Gotta, gotta keep an eye on the things here, but we should be loading into our, uh, our final game of the night here in just, or of, of this series of the night. So, which, so, which player will be the solo king in this particular best of three? We're gonna get into game and find out. And here we go, welcome back. Get to see us load back onto the rift and it's good to be back to check out what is probably going to be, up yep, 34 flat ability power. It's gonna be an AP Nasus from Watch. He'll be playing up against Arrow's Draven who is unfortunately not an AP Draven, which is, you know, the way things should be all as well in the world as far as Arrow's Draven is concerned. <laughs> All right, flask potions. Watch. Let's see. Watch is really trying to make this work. I I don't think it should work or ever will work, but who knows? And the Draven once he gets level three, has level two points in the axes. Uh, the, the, there's nothing Watch can do. He can't move up. He can't like auto. All he can do is soul fire. So we'll see. As he spams away at the back animation. <laughs> kind of spamming some axes out there. Of course, waiting a uh, few more seconds until minions respawn. Um, I want to see champions that can do things before minions spawn. Like uh, you can have uh, like Heimerdinger set up turrets, uh, little things like that, just to get a slight early advantage. 
Minions coming mm. out of base now, and I want to watch these soul fires from Watch. He would have had to run a lot of um, a lot of cooldown reduction too from his runes. I don't think there was any cooldown reduction. It was just like magic resist, mm. AP, and armor. I think sort of life's great he's got more armor this time. He, he he doesn't have 25 armor. He's 32, so much better off. <laughs> Both laners just waiting patiently. Spinning around some axes. I saw Arrow spinning his axes. I was like, wait a second. He already has two spinning axes, but he hasn't auto attacked anything yet. And now he will start, uh, start to get those axe, axes down. One soul fire down, but of course it won't actually uh, pick him up any CS. He still has to walk forward. It just pushes creeps. the wave. It just pushes the wave and screws him over so hard. <laughs> Every time he soul fires. He's, he's gotten three, which is okay, but for now... Like, he, he has to manage his mana, he has to manage where Arrow is positioning himself, and just spamming out Soulfire for one or two creeps that he just didn't even get there is not worth it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and so, and so at this point, you probably won't see a CS differential form uh, at least super early on, but you can already see Arrow doesn't even have a CS advantage or, uh, or a level advantage, and he's already starting his own watch off a little bit of these yep level two just use that rage man just keep going forward and just surging himself it's absolutely impossible for nasa to deal with this especially once the wave is busy just dealing with the other side of the wave like red versus blue wave uh i don't know what i was trying to say once once the minions are fighting each other is a better way to state that you know he can just focus on arrow or focus on watch excuse me yeah well i guess you know maybe focusing on yourself you know no Yourself. He's Draven, right? He's, he just the enemy. talks to himself in the third person. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. Like, we need to know ourselves, but oh my god, look at that Draven damage that Arrow put out. Not sure there's too many ways Watch can survive through this. Is, uh, if he had flashing that, he would have got the kill. 100%. Very, very close. Yeah, Arrow is dropping down actually pretty low. Doesn't have any health potions, and the sustained advantage is uh, you know a big one for Watch. If he was looking to pick up a kill he would have to wither first and uh does he have enough for wither and q i think no. so but there's like 100 mana so it's it's tough the mana management has been kind of off point for uh watch this game at least because he's had, he's had to use wither defensively he's been spamming up the soul fires and uh it's just it's just so hard in <laughs> this matchup I mean, at least he's done an amazing job of keeping arrow low, which is the hard thing. And that soul fire is so strong when you're maxing it. And against an AD like this, with only 37 magic resist, when you put so much into AP, it's it's pretty good. Well, no worries about that. But uh, as far as the way that the lane matchup is going to work, we saw early pressure from arrow. Of course, he will be forced back to base. Uh, sustain, kind of the name of the game here tonight. Crystalline flask and those health potions. Doing wonders to keep Watch's AP Nasus in lane. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, Arrow comes back. He's full health, full mana. And he's going to keep this CS lead looking looking to go strong, honestly. The, it depends on where Watch TP's back to. Uh, if he TP's back into the lane, he won't be able to miss. He won't be missing a lot. Uh, hmm. Oh, whoa. Uh, the, the biggest problem that I'm at least seeing from the early game is... Not just because, you know, we've already seen teleports be used, so whoever goes back to base next time is actually going to have to walk all the way back to lane. But look at these builds starting to come out. Double Dorad's blades, and oh, here we go. There is the Wither coming out. This is still AP Nasus, so those siphoning strikes will not hurt all that much. Nope. Specifically, just because uh, Nasus is sitting on precisely zero stats. <laughs> that burst damage from Soul Fire, man. It's so good. But again, it, it really screws up the fact that Watch is trying to at least get some kind of last hit going for himself. And Draven underneath the turret, just one axe and he's good. It's as easy as that. Alright, well, still looking to put the Saras down. Arrow Force deep behind his turret. The AP Nasus power is starting to pay off here. And so Arrow, you can see, actually going on the aggressive just to try to establish in a small section of this lane where you can at least, you know, get some, you know, free CS and he'll get some now, but it's at the cost of it being pushed into his turret. I mean, I don't think he really minds. 
there's there's nothing that arrow minds about the situation. He's already plus. Let's see. After that one, 14 creeps ahead. So he's about two waves ahead. So he's he's looking good. He's looking good right now. He's gonna go back. He'll run back to lane. He knows that the Nasus can't physically take down the turret because there's no siphoning strike stacks. So why does he care? <laughs> And then just runs back into the lane, no problem. Well, definitely something to keep an eye on, and uh, specifically because both laners have used their teleports already, you don't have to worry about that. Just getting you a you know get out of jail free card, trip back into the mid lane. So both laners will actually have to walk their way all the way back. Triple Doran's rings. Not uh, not necessarily an item or itemization path that you'd expect to watch, but of course, speaking of watch, uh, I guess you can't really expect too many things uh, out of uh, out of him, at least for right now. So the AP Nasus returning back in the lane, one soul fire, and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I, once once the Vampire Acceptor is done for Arrow, then that's to the point where uh, this probably will go down to a farm game, and Arrow will more than likely just win off that. Uh, the soul fires are clean, clearing the waves out nicely, but Arrow, he can just face tank the creeps once he has the vamp scepter and he's good to go. Like, even even with this... Oh, wait, hold on. Whoa, there we go, deep underneath the... Well, I thought it was going to go deep underneath the turret. That's an ignite ticking mm. down, but all in survived there by Watch. Of course, he does have a lot of lifesteal from this soul eater passive. We'll see if he can get that down. Look at the soul fires. Continuing to tick down, and uh, I think Watch might actually have a decent advantage here, just with how much good clear that Soul Fire is. Oh my God, Arrow, taking down to just about 150 HP. That was interesting. Hmm. I guess Watch's decision on timing to throw out that ultimate and go straight in was was smart. Uh, definitely zoning away Arrow. And the soul fire is just hurting so much. But now, watch. He's going in. He's He's got, what is that, 16 stacks right now? Or 18 extra damage coming out of that? He might win. Wow. Oh, my God. He's just going to be able to kill this turn. If he doesn't, then he loses. No, why didn't he keep going? What? I, I think he might have been, like, one auto attack short of killing It would have been an auto turret. and a strike, and he would have won. Right there. I, was, was he running out of minions? No. So he would have gotten backdoor protection? There, no, 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 not even close. Uh, that's weird. All right. And now, like, having foregone that opportunity to almost win the game. He's got TP to come back to lane, though. Watch so. is, yeah, he's going to take a little bit of damage to his own turret. Of course, his turret's actually full HP, so with the TP back in, I don't think there's too much to worry about. And it's not like Draven Axes actually work on that turret, so it's okay. But Arrow, kiting around. He does use the stand, uh, stand aside, but... Meh. Uh, now that he has Vampire Acceptor, you're starting to see him heal up and be able to deal with a lot of this Soulfire presence. But uh, again, I, I don't know why Watch stopped. Siphoning Strike and Auto would have been enough. Maybe giving Arrow another chance. Second, a second look on life, or second lease on life. Well, at this point, Soulfire is actually starting to push these waves relatively decently. You're going to get a lot of mana back from it with quad Doran's rings. Nasus very, very tanky as well as having a lot of damage, but look at these axes continuing to come out of the arrow, just really punishing Watch's inability to trade back. Yep, Watch uh, really is going to be, this is like a standstill right now, because that puts, the soul fire puts the uh, range creeps at half health, and the tower, the turret, excuse me, just one shots him. So, we're going to, we're going to hit the, the CS threshold, I believe, at this yeah. point. We're already 76 CS in, and while it's not quite a 10 CS lead for Arrow, is one that he will be getting very, very close to. Especially, like you said, uh, you mentioned the inability of Soulfire to clear entirely full creep waves, especially at turret. It's gonna get, uh, keep getting rougher. Uh, as far as CS is concerned, of course, 81 to 72, almost on that 10 CS lead. So if Arrow is able to uh, get that uh, you know, 10 CS lead once he breaches 100, of course that's another win condition other than just straight up killing the guy, which also seems to be an objective Arrow is slightly closer to. He's trying. Uh, the potions though and the flask really just helping out for a watch right now. 
The Flask was such a smart pickup too, early on. It works pretty well in towards the, uh, I guess, eight to like 10 minute mark of the one versus one. So, let's see. I mean, the Quad Doran's rings do let this soul fire do some major work, but at the same time, he, he can't run up and just kill Arrow. Well, I mean, you you can certainly try. I would definitely not advise that, but I have seen crazier things, Egad. Uh, not... Yeah, I was, I was, I was, Did he just ghost? Were it? we not just talking about that? Yes. Hmm. That, is a, that is a ghost. Not sure what possible uses that could have other than attempting to close the gap here, but you can see it's really not motivated hardly at all. He's just going to go ahead and ult to clear the wave, but... Uh, can he actually just clear this wave and walk up to the turret? He's gonna go for it. Can he find this kill? He needs another siphoning strike. Does he have it? The backdoor nope. regeneration or the backdoor defense is too much. Watch. Gets a little bit over greedy. Gives Arrow the victory in the 1v1 matchup. It'll be Arrow advancing 2 1 over Watch. That was a valiant effort. I guess the 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 creeps didn't really make it to the turret, so that protection did linger on and then it's, yep, there it is. No siphoning strikes there either. He used one early on, but that was it. It's level it was level one siphoning strike, I believe, or like two ish. Yeah, so just not that much bonus damage. The AP Nasus does not pay off, unfortunately, and that will be Arrow advancing 2-1 Overwatch. Yep, so I believe we're gonna be hitting a quick break before the next game. Mm -hmm. We will be having a quick commercial break, so don't go anywhere. When we come back, we match matchup that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. It'll be LOL Bunny from I Am Athena into uh, Extreme Miracles, or Extreme Miracle. <laughs> yep, so. Oh uh, <laughs> it's, it's Incredible Miracle, it's a female team facing off against Jyn Air's Trace, so. Just a few quick moments before we come back with Law Bunny versus Trace. 